Now that you have understood some very basic aspects of spreadsheets, let's understand what we mean by the spreadsheet mindset. In other words, what we are trying to learn in this course is to create what I would call as serious spreadsheets. And creating serious spreadsheets requires you to have the mindset of spreadsheet, a serious spreadsheet mindset. It's not just doing some arithmetic and getting the correct results, but using the right techniques. So let me clarify what I mean by serious spreadsheets or spreadsheet mindset. You can crudely classify spreadsheets as casual or serious. And let's understand how these two differ. So if you look at, uh, you can look at casual spreadsheet and serious spreadsheets in many dimensions. Casual spreadsheets are those that are used very few times, which means that you may create the spreadsheet, you found some results, that's the end of it, right? Or you may look at it a couple of more times end of story. Whereas serious spreadsheets would possibly be used many, many times. Like for example, in a company, they may create a spreadsheet to do some routine operations. So they create the spreadsheet once and then they may end up using it week after week after week or month after month after month. So that's a spreadsheet which is serious and is used many, many times after it's created. And because of the fact that it's going to be used many times, it has to be user friendly in other words, it has to be designed in such a way that it's easy for users to use. And also it has to be written in such a way that it's easy for uh, the designer to make changes to the spreadsheet, right? Because you cannot, some small change occurs, you cannot simply scrap the whole spreadsheet and say, I'm going to do it all over again. You won't have the luxury of doing that because it's going to take a long time. But Originally itself, if you had created a spreadsheet in such a way that you can make easy changes, changes very easily, that's a good characteristic. Okay, so that's one thing. And of course, size, casual spreadsheets are very small. Though maybe they have 10, 15, 20 rows, whereas serious spreadsheets could be really, really large. Several rows, uh, thousands of rows, hundreds of thousands of rows, and many columns, 20, 30, 50, 100 columns. Changes over time, casual spreadsheets Obviously, they are used very few times, so this issue of changes over time is not even important, whereas serious spreadsheets over time may end up changing many times. And as I've already said, these may be large spreadsheets uh, and also complex spreadsheets, which will have many, many formulas, right? And therefore, uh, the, the impact of changes on these would be very large. It will be difficult to simply scrap the old spreadsheet and recreate it completely. Okay, so the big design imperative uh, is, is formulas and uh, in casual spreadsheets, you don't really care how you write your formulas. All you're interested is in getting the correct results and once you've got the results, your job is done, you move on. So it doesn't really matter how you got to the correct number, but you just got to it. Whereas in serious spreadsheets, uh, you really have to be careful to reuse a minimal set of formulas to get the correct numbers because it's not just a question of getting the correct number because if you get the correct number once and some change occurs, you may have to go and make very serious changes to the spreadsheet and that will be extremely time consuming or even impossible. So that is why in serious spreadsheets, you really have to make good use of formulas. Right? And again, as I've mentioned earlier, uh, in casual spreadsheets, you don't really need to plan for changes because you know, they're going to be used a few times, not changed at all. Uh, whereas serious spreadsheets are going to be used over a long period of time and uh, things are going to change over time and it should be easy for you to make those changes. So that's the big difference between casual and serious spreadsheets. Okay, And in this course, we're really talking about techniques for creating good serious worksheets. We're not really concerned about casual worksheets in this, which is why I'm keeping on emphasizing the fact that it's not simply about getting the correct results, but it's about correct results using the correct Excel techniques, good Excel techniques. And that's the focus of this course. Okay, so serious spreadsheets can have large uh, they're large, they may have thousands or even tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of rows. Okay, and they may have one or more tables, possibly with a lot of other content as well. That is, this is a table, and in addition to the table, there may be other content on which some elements of the table depend, and so on. So they're complex in that way. Okay, and rows or columns 
with many elements but similar computations for each cell of row or column. In other words, there are many rows and many columns but the meaning of the item in each uh, column is sort of similar. Okay, which is why we are able to write a formula and as you will see shortly, we will just be able to create a few formulas and copy them over many, many times. Okay, so uh, because of the fact that they are very large, they become unmanageable if we try to, try to write individual formulas for each computation. We want to write a few formulas and reuse those few formulas for as many computations as we can. So those are some defining characteristics of series spreadsheets. And as I've already said, this course covers techniques for the above. Just writing formulas for getting the correct numbers is completely insufficient. So our goal is to get the correct results using features provided by spreadsheet packages for handling serious spreadsheets. Without this, the course is just fifth grade arithmetic. There's nothing great, so just getting the right doing something to get the correct numbers is not the goal of the course.